Hey, uh, this is a quick video for Steven Honda 420. Man, listen, I went to all the forums. I went to different channels that I like watching, and I could not find anything about the LB7, period. And, you know, and it, it's like the, the Cali emissions uh, LB7s are rare. They're, they only made so many of them, and then, you know, it was just like one of those things. So um, I'm going to explain what I did, and it was cheap. It was cheaper than buying a kit. Now, you got to be kind of handy, so I hope you're handy. Anyway, if any of this doesn't make sense, just leave a comment and I'll I'll help you out. But um, so I went to Amazon and I bought a quarter inch by four inch by I think it was uh, twelve inch plate steel. It cost me like twenty bucks, and then I have um, I have an angle grinder, so. I hooked an angle grinder up with a cutoff wheel that I got, I'm pretty sure, at Walmart. Um, anyway, um, you'll have an EGR cooler and the EGR valve itself, and you'll have to take those apart. Um, so take your air breather off and take the um, EGR valve itself off. And I think that was three bolts. Um, I don't have mine anymore. I tossed it in the trash, so... I'll flip this camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so when you're under your hood, you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and remove your uh, that flathead screw right there on that flathead screw over there. I'm sure you can figure it out. You're probably a handy guy. So once you got it off, your EGR cooler is right here under your charge pipe. And it bolts to the block intake right there. Now, you can tell... What I did is I made my own plates, and I used the stock bolts with the quarter-inch plate. It worked really well. You don't have to worry about running them down too far. If you want, you can get new gaskets for the EGR valve or use the old gaskets. So that's what I did. I used the old gasket here and the old gasket here. Okay, so I got my plate steel, and like I said, Amazon... I took my EGR, and let's pretend this can of paint's my EGR. I set it on top like that. I took me a pen, and I traced it out, right? And then I took my angle grinder, and I cut those pieces out just like so. And then I set the EGR back up there, and I drew in the holes for the bolts like that and used a, a drill bit and a Milwaukee drill and drilled them out. That was it. And then I used my, my cleaning pad on the grinder, just a, you know, sandpaper pad or whatever you call those, and I cleaned it up. That was it. But if you want to get by for now, get you some plate, make you some block off plates, and then you have to do something like EFI Live or take it to a shop that'll do it. So after I did all the forums and whatnot, I figured block it and just do EFI Live or something like that. Well, the forums have a surefire complete delete way and you have to buy parts so you buy a y bridge federal y bridge it won't have the uh, egr valve port on it at all and then you buy federal up pipes and while you're at the up pipes you might as well change your down pipe if you haven't already because a three inch down pipe is going to increase the flow to your turbocharger making more power and you're obviously going to get better results with you know the engine not being suffocated by this EGR system that's what I did and it worked you know um, if you do the full delete with the Y bridge and the the pipes and all that stuff make sure that you get EFI live with a delete tune it's necessary to get you know get the codes off the computer and to basically tell the trucks computer that it's never had EGR that it's basically a federal truck, you know, and then you won't ever have check engine lights and you won't go into limp mode for something silly like your vacuum tubes on the top of your fuel filter not being hooked up. Those are all vacuum tubes specifically for the EGR stuff. That's an easy fix. Um, plates, man. It all in all took me two hours to make the plates and put them on and it cost me like 30 bucks and a little bit of, little bit of know-how. So, it's pretty simple. It's it's fine if it's not perfect. It works. Or buy the Y bridge and up pipes and change the whole system back to federal.
So I don't know if you can see from my bright ass flashlight, but that right there is the back of the EGR. So you see the EGR cooler right in here. These bolts for the back of that are literally right up against the firewall. Really hard to get to. It's doable. And from what I understand, if you take a really long extension and get up here under your fender and get up in there, you can get it. Here's one of the up pipes. And on top of that up pipe, it Y bridges into the EGR cooler and then it keeps going. You can see the bolt right behind those two black lines right there. That goes into the back of the turbo for the passenger side. And it's got that little bridge right there that goes into that cooler. Such a waste, man. Just power hogging junk. Thank you, California. Thanks for the question, man. I really appreciate you watching. Um, I know I'm not a big channel, but I really appreciate things like this. It's really cool. Hey, man. Thanks again. One more thing before you go. Uh, go check out Truckmaster Diesel. He's got a bunch of stuff at Truckmaster on YouTube. Lots of great videos of frame-up restores and little fixes here and there uh, on all these cat eye style, you know, GMCs and Chevys. Uh, Duramaxes and then the guy is just he knows his stuff and he partners with a lot of shops and they know stuff and he's got discount codes to parts and all that stuff so uh, really good dude Josh is awesome I've talked to him a couple times and uh, just enjoyed getting to you know one-on-one -on -one with the guy and, and pick up some more knowledge where you know I was lacking go over to his website right now and pick up yourself a Duramax hat or um, a sticker or parts if you want and just anything I mean uh, if you get on there and you buy something, uh, it secures you points uh, for entries to win his 2006 LBZ that's been completely frame up restored. I mean, it's got all the best parts. That thing sounds wicked, dude. So go check it out. Go get your entries, even if it's just like, you know, five or six bucks for a little truck sticker or something. Get it, you know, toolbox sticker, slap it on there. But get entered to win and tell him I sent you. Maybe he'll smile at both of us, you know what I'm saying? So anyway. Thanks again for the question. Have a good one, dude.